adults. Now back to what we were talking about. So, <laughs> are, you are, you are you an adult? Are you an adult? No, because you're not supposed to be talking to adults. What? Why? Is it is it too dark? It's so that people passing by it will not hinder you guys. If you move on to the side. Whatever you want, I can go over there in the shade if you want. Jesus is the Son of Man, just like our. Uh, right here. Wow. We are all, we're also the Son of Man. Sorry. You and I are, are, are son of man. Is Jesus son of man Jesus like you and I are son of man? Yes, I guess. Or so. well, he's uh, Jesus, the special son of man. What do you mean by the uh, special son? Are you recording? Yeah, like the, yeah. He's the son of man, as in um, uh, Daniel chapter seven. There's multiple son of men, like uh, Ezekiel is called a son of man, and so is the Book of Enoch. Talk about some. Hello, Will. Yeah, All right. How are you? Yeah. Every, you know, you know, the Book of Enoch talks about uh, a son of man too. Which son of man does it talk about? I think it prophesies Jesus in uh, Enoch 71. I, I like the Book of Enoch. Wait a minute. Besides Jesus, who's son of man? Ezekiel, Ezekiel, Ezekiel. The first verse of Ezekiel one, of Ezekiel two and three. Can you show me the verse? I'm not familiar with it. I promise you, in the Greek, it also says son of man. Yeah, we did. Can you go to the uh, to the King uh, New King James version, please? I don't know which version you're reading. No, it's in all versions. I don't know why. It's New no, King can you James read it in that? Because I just like to get that translation. Because sometimes it gets a little bit confusing. Uh, what do you, are you a New King James only? Person? No, no, not uh, not necessarily, okay. not necessarily. But it's not just like that Stephen Anderson, he's a King James only person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. No, I'm just yeah, doing Stephen it because Anderson. I think some of the wording gets a little okay, bit And confused. he said to me, me, the, the writer of Ezekiel, uh, uh, verse 1, Son of man, stand on your feet, feet and I will speak to you. Ezekiel 2, verse 1, and then Ezekiel 3, verse 1 says, Moreover, he said to me, this is Ezekiel speaking, Son of man, eat what you find, eat this scroll and go. Speak to the house of Israel. Why is he eating? I don't know why he's eating a scroll, but I'll show the uh, camera. If so will. if he's son of man, he's eating a scroll. You don't have to show the camera. You can just give the reference. Yeah, he put oh, yeah, it in yeah. there. Ezekiel chapter. He was two, talking. Verse one. It's recorded. They'll they'll yeah. put the. Ezekiel, the Ezekiel, two, Ezekiel chapter two verse one and Ezekiel. Okay, so why is he eating the scroll? One. Why? If I don't know he's why, son of I man. I don't know why he's eating a scroll. Okay, well, I mean, it sounds to me like it's proverbial or something like that. And I haven't. And I'm not familiar with this passage, by the way. So, so I'm not true. sure. We are all like a son of man. No, we're son of man because we're sons of Adam. Yeah, Jesus is a special son of man is in Daniel chapter 7. And Daniel 7 says that God gave unto him authority. So he's inherited something which Jesus didn't have. All right, can we go a little bit slower? You're going too fast. Sorry, okay. All right, listen, I said, fast. yeah, no, you're not anywhere close to him. But listen to me, uh, when I said we're all sons of Adam, my next, because you keep going on, I, I wanted to ask you, is Jesus son of Adam? Yeah, you want to ask me? Uh, yes, he, he is um, a descendant of him via Mary. And if Joseph was his father, he would be a descendant of Adam. Was Jesus son of Joseph? Was he, well, no, he wasn't, of course. Who was his father? It was uh, God, the God of... Um, okay, well, then how is he a son of man if God is his father? How is he a son of Adam? Because he's still a descendant of Adam through Mary. Do you know how this oh, argument God. is getting really I, ridiculous I now? No, it's a ridiculous argument you're trying to make because you just told me Ezekiel is a son of man because he's a son of uh, Adam. You and I are sons of Adam. Probably, I don't even know if that's how, how someone is qualified as a son of man. Scripture doesn't state so, but yeah, I, I guess so. That's how someone. Okay, let me ask you something. Are like sons of God, right? So sons of God, angels are called sons, sons of God, aren't they? Yes, yes, Elohim. Uh, Elohim, okay. So sons of God, that means, uh, that can mean a lot of things then, can't it? Yeah, I get, yes, yeah, son of God. Don't damage my poster. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, that's his poster. Maybe we should... Uh, let's move so, over so, so, so we don't continue over here a little bit. Just move it over. This is yeah, yeah, stuff so, is so, there. So continue. Um, okay. Yeah. How can you sit on top of that? I don't know. Something that. All wrong. right. Fine. Uh, anyways, my friend, uh, let's go back to the text. Then, uh, yeah. if they are all sons of man, even Ezekiel is a son of man. Yes. And uh, so there is no special. Uh, unique son of man then 
there is a unique son of man is in Daniel chapter 7 they are righteous son of man of uh, that chapter 7 that's Jesus but and, well, wait a minute it. hold on can we go to J Daniel 7 please okay I'll show you the Hebrew no please don't okay. show me what I'm not asking you to show me because I just want to show you something okay and I want to show you that. something too all right fine let me show you something and then you show me something yeah, yeah we'll go to Bible Hub and we'll, we'll check it out okay Daniel chapter 7 verse 40. No, I'm not talking about Daniel chapter 7 verse 40. Is it like in chapter 14? 14, okay, go ahead. Yeah, this is the one. Okay, so let's check. N NIV do you want or do you want a... No, please go. No, don't go to NIV. New That's King, the non-inspired yeah. version. Okay, New King James Version. All right, fine. Then to him was given dominion and authority and a kingdom that all peoples, nations and languages should serve him. That's true in the... Uh, Isn't in Daniel's... Seven, or is it in Daniel? Eight, where it says that Daniel no, 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 son of man, and he's called God Almighty. One, yeah, no, Daniel you seven calls him the son of man, and then says that all nations will serve him. Yeah, but there is also a verse that says uh, he's called God Almighty. The son of man. Yeah, uh, the, uh, yeah, the one that uh, is this, uh, coming on the clouds of heaven. Coming on the clouds of heaven, and you, you will see that in Mark at the end of Mark, and you will see the son of man coming. Yeah, down but that's a reference to Daniel. Yeah, reference, yeah. Yeah. So which Daniel? Which verse? Is Daniel that? seven. Seven, which seven I need to check. Yeah, can you check that? Yeah. So where it says uh, it's coming on the clouds of heaven, is that Daniel 7? I think it's 9, isn't it? It's, it's verse um, four, four, 14, basically, yeah. Uh, so, um, so, yeah, here, here we go. I got a, um, the Bible Hub version. Which says, it says um, he was given the word in a Hebrew there, in a Bible Hub, um, basically means Strong's Hebrew 3052 means to give and uh, to let, like, a transaction. Can I, can I, can I not ask you to stop doing? The, can you please stop doing that? I'm not asking you to do that. I was just asking you. But I want to show to you. Do me though. a favor, okay? Because my phone is dead. I can't look in my oh, no, phone. That's fine. Yeah, you can. I can just try to see. I'm not looking for. Can you just go to the verse on the Daniel seven? I want to okay. find out the passage because it's also called him Mighty God or something to my, that my, effect. That's Isaiah nine six. That's right, Isaiah nine six. So what, what? Can you go to Isaiah nine six? Yeah, sure. All I right. think Hezekiah is what the Jews claim this is, but something interesting, Hezekiah has already died and is no longer ruling as in Isaiah chapter 38 verse 1. Can we go to the is, Isaiah you, you, where, where he says... Yeah, yeah, know, I found it, yeah. Yeah, what is it? Why Isaiah are you going to the... Why did you go to a Bible hub? Uh, I don't know, Bible gateway now. So this is... Um, but New which King version James. is this? New King James, don't worry. Okay, fine. Uh, for us a child is given unto a ah. son is born. Who's this son? I think this is a prophecy about Jesus. The Jews say it's about you Hezekiah. You think? You're not sure? Not until, I'll tell you why. The, the ah. Jews say it's about Hezekiah, but I have heard Isaiah 38 verse 1 says that Hezekiah has already died and he's no longer running. It might be about Jesus, but it also, these names are, like, are mainly like symbolic names. What do you mainly. mean by that, symbolic? Well, give us the names. Can you read the verse yeah, first sure. before so you give us the His name will be called Wonderful ah. Counselor, ah. Mighty God, Mighty God, Everlasting Father. Ad what, what, who, who can be Everlasting Father? A man can be father. everlasting father. A man can be God Almighty. I've heard everlasting father. Some say has to do with authority. He's the Prince of Peace. Oh, well, come on, man! I mean, really? Are, are, is this your argument? No, I don't. I don't are you want to stand on this hill? Do you want to really stand on this hill? I don't mind dying on this hill. You know, Jehu, character from the Old Testament in Hebrew. His name means He is God. It doesn't mean Jehu is called God, really. Sorry. Jehu, you know that character? No, I don't. Oh, he's called um. He is God, basically. That's his. Well, um, Satan is God. Well, see, he's the God of this world. Second well, then, Corinthians that, that 4 -4. look, look, look. Does language, you can't confuse language with the theology. You need to put language in the context of what the author is saying, who's talking, what, who's he talking to, what is he talking about. If you don't put things in context, that's why I say you are becoming a Muslim because that's what they do to support their arguments. Trinitarians do the same, in my opinion, but okay. Okay, give me an example. Where they um, mix up and uh, yeah, go ahead. The go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Like for example, uh, John ten. They use that to prove Christ is God. He says, "I and the Father are one." And the Jews say, and the Jews are said to want to kill him for claiming to be God. In the Greek, there's no definite article, so the term God there is meant to use the terms of like judges, like how Elohim is used. It's not calling him God because Jesus said, "In your book, it's written, you ye are all Elohim." You know. 34 can you make 10. the point you're ranting please can you make the point you're saying that just in John 10 okay so you're saying 
over there, they, the yeah. Trinitarians take a statement from Jesus saying, I and the Father are one. Yes, they try to use him in John. Can you read the context of that chapter? Can we go to that chapter? The Jews tried to kill him in John 17. Yes, they did. Why would they try to kill him if he's, he's not claiming, claiming to, have, to be God? He's, what, what does he reply with? Who? Jesus, what does he reply with? You're all called gods, and if I say I'm God, then you'd want to kill me. Is that the what they use? God is Elohim, it means judges, for example. Look, look, if they, that's my whole argument. Remember, I started with this whole argument with you. I said, all Jews are children of God. They are all sons of God. Yeah. Why would there be one person who would think that he is, if he says that he's son of God, then that's a blasphemy. Obviously, you have to know what the context is. Well, I, I, yeah. And that is why when you're on trial, don't worry about him. Uh, it's fine. I don't have anything wrong with him doing that. It's fine. Yeah. Okay, so if Jesus is talking to... Uh, if, the, if the judge is talking to you in a court of law, and this is a trial about like trying to convict you and put you on the death row, or convict you and put you to uh, you know, execution, the question and answers are due geared towards getting a conviction, right? I guess so, yeah. Yeah. So when I'm doing that, by virtue of doing that, I am trying to ask you a question that in itself contains the, that, that element, you know, for, for, for convicting you of blasphemy. Yeah. Okay? So it's really simple. There's nothing really very complicated about this. So if there is an element of blasphemy, you can, it, a blasphemy is not a man calling himself a prophet or he's calling himself like a chosen one or something like that. A blasphemy is when a man is claiming to be God. I'm, I'm watching him, don't worry about it. Yeah, you're, you're, I have nothing wrong with him doing it. It's quite right. nice. His sign's quite funny actually. Don't worry about the sign, eh? <laughs> Let's just concentrate on oh our gosh, conversation. So yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't get distracted so easily. Yeah. All it's, right. It's, it's now, let's just say, so do you understand my point? The point is that the guy who's asking him the question in a court of law, late at night, they're like doing this mock trial, but because it's a trial, they still want a conviction. So they have yeah. the authority. So the people don't start asking the questions on their authority because they're doing unlawful things. Yeah. Yeah. So he has to give this like impression that, look, we convicted him justly to yeah. our law. And in that law, you are a blasphemer if you are claiming to be what? To, to be what some are having authority that you don't have. Like I what? Mean, like for example, he says, your, your law says ye are all gods, Elohim. Like the yeah. judges are called Elohim. Yeah. You will have godly and judging authority. Uh -huh. like Jesus, uh, my father is in me and he will be in, in you all. We Can we go to John 10, please? Let's read the context on that okay. one. So read like three or four verses before and after. Uh, that Let's works. go to the New King James Bible. Okay. I'm not too keen on the King James, but we'll read it. Okay. Which one are you keen on? I kind of like the ESV. That's. That's goes, fine. I thought, that's okay. I just oh, didn't okay. want to have a discussion about it. Just you don't like the say. NIV, it appears. Why so? I don't know. Let's let's okay, not fine. change let's the fine. topic let's not get here. Fine. Yeah. Go let's let's go to the. I and my father so that Jesus says them, and I should give them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hand. Why why is Jesus talking in the first person about things that only God can do? Well, I, Jesus can give out of them. my hand. Jesus what? can give us eternal life. What's the problem? What, what, what do you mean? What's the problem? Jesus is a savior by God. He shall save us by God. Where does it say by God? By God, uh, Hosea one. No, no, no. In this chapter, please. Oh, no, no, don't, no, 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 no. On this chapter, stay on this chapter. I don't want to move. Can you just read that whole passage, please, so we can get the context? My Father, who has given them to me. Uh -huh. Oh look, he given. He's why is Jesus being given these things? That's how he's able to think. Uh, see, about. now you're getting the context. Okay. Yeah, yeah, now let's go back. Okay, okay. So, so go back. Where, where, which verse are you reading right now? Uh, What's verse, verse twenty-nine. Verse? Well, let me see that. Okay, so. Yes. Hold on. No, the, the shepherd knows the sheep, way. okay? So let's let's go with the shepherd. Let's go exactly to 22 and down. Yeah? You should yeah. tell me right. exactly. Now it was the feast of dedication in Jerusalem, and it was winter, and Jesus walked in the temple. Sorry, go ahead. It's all right. He's talking. Um, in the temple, and 
as we say, uh, in, the, in the temple in Solomon's porch. Then the Jews surrounded him and said to him, how long do you keep us in doubt if you are the Christ? Mm. Tell us plainly, Wait, 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 what are you reading? Are you reading John? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so, okay. so yeah. what else? Do I told you, yeah. and you do not believe the works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness of me, but you don't believe because you are not of my sheep. As I said to you, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them and they follow me. Keep going, please. And I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hand. My Father, who has given them to me, is greater than all, and no one is able to snatch them out of my all hand. Of what does he mean when he said that, all of whom? Well, who is he referring to all? Excuse me, sir. There's a camera here. Okay. And my Father has given them to me. No one, um, neither shall anyone such man. I and my father are one. No, 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 sir. I asked you a question. You skipped over it. Okay, okay, okay. What was the, I, okay. On the previous verse where he says, my father is greater than all, who is he referring to? Then all, oh, that's, it's like a monarchical Trinitarianism idea. That, that I'm subjugated to the father below him is the son. I, I asked you a question. You're not ans addressing it. I'm, I'm asking you, what answer. is he referring, what does... What well, is that referencing, referencing in this when he says, "My Father is greater than all"? Who is the all? Everyone. Who? Everyone who? Christ, the Holy Spirit, the angels, everything that is living, Satan, the demons, wait, wait, wait. everything. Wait a minute. He no, no, no. What? No, no, no. You're wrong. You're wrong. He's not referring to humans in this. Everything. No, he's not. Humans, by their created beings, of they, they don't have the power over any of us. You know, like you and I, we are just humans. So can you read that chapter, the, the verse carefully, just a couple of, I'm going to make a point here because uh, you just went over it without just inter understanding okay, what, what it was. What verse? Judge, uh, the, the one that says this, just the one before it. And then read that one where it says... And I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. Mm. Neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hand. Okay. No, no, no. And the Father is greater than all. And the fa my Father who has given them to me is greater than all. Okay. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all. So when he's talking about humans that the Father is giving them, he's not talking about who humans who are greater than the Father. Okay, get that out of your head. Yeah. That is not the, ref the, the point that he's trying to make. He's talking about the spiritual powers that can stretch you out of his hand. No man can snatch another man out of God's hand. Okay. Get that clear in your yeah, head. Okay, That's okay, what okay, this okay, is okay, trying yeah, to yeah. say. So, so I just want you to yeah. understand, he's not referring to humans, he's referring to Satan and to demonic powers. Okay. That's okay. what the point is. Okay, okay. now go on, now go okay, on. So, All right. so back, okay. And no one is able to snatch him out of my father's hand. I and my father are one. Subheading, renowned efforts to stone Jesus from the NKJV. Verse 31, then the Jews picked up them stones to stone him. Jesus then answered to them, many great and good works I have shown you from my father. Mm -hmm. For which of those works do you stone me? The Jews answered him, saying, for a good work we do not stone you, but for blasphemy. Mm -hmm. And that because you... Being, so what was the blasphemy? Are, because there's no definite article in this. Okay. Being a man... Being a man, yeah. Make yourself. Make yourself. No definite article in the Greek, so God. It's like how some translate John 1 of this, in the beginning was the word was a God. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's, I want to make sure I clearly understand your point. Uh, yeah. Here's what I've understood. I'm going to reiterate so you understand yeah. what I've okay. understood and just let me know if I'm on the right wavelength. Yeah? Okay. Thank you. You're telling me that the Jews were picking up stones, accusing him of equating him with a God. Now that you, you are, you are pulling your, you are, hold on, you make yourself. Okay, because they picked up the stone. Okay, I'm, I'm very slow. You're very quick. I'm very slow. Let's go slowly. They're picking up the, the picking up rocks because they think he's equating them to himself to whom? Himself to uh, God. No, no, sorry? sorry oh. Let me try that again. Let me try that again. So when in 2016, there's no definite article and it says make yourself God, well, let's see what Jesus replies. It is not written in your, in your law. I said ye are gods. Elohim, the word Elohim in the Psalm 86 verse 6, 82 verse 6 is used of the judges. 
it means having good godly authority of subject like how Jesus is called um your God is your throne like the Hebrews 1 8 Elohim or your throne O God all things have been subjugated unto him that he has godly authority ability to judge that's the kind of idea you understand I'm trying to okay, well, I, yeah, I'm really uh, trying to I, the, the, you got to pick up look at look I just want this is a picture that's painted in this paragraph people standing around listening to what he just said they're picking up stones you need to continue from when they picked up the stones what did they say? We don't want to stone you because of the works. We want to stone you because of? We want to stone you because you claim to be an Elohim. This is likely in Hebrew, this conversation I will make. Can you well, show me the Greek? It's Theos. The word Theos is for Elohim. Okay, so what does that mean? That means God, but this is likely translating a conversation in Hebrew or Aramaic. So Jesus says, in your law it says ye are God. So likely the word for God there is most likely the same. Because it would have to be the same ideal of God as in when he said he okay. claimed to be God. So it's Elohim. It's okay, fine. Elohim. All right, all right. Let's, not, say, let's say he's Elohim. Yahweh. Okay, not Yahweh, Elohim. Okay, so is Yahweh ever referenced as Elohim in yeah, the Bible? Yeah, that is very true. But it's also used not just of him. It's used of the judges in Exodus. Yeah, of course, Elohim can be anywhere. Yeah. Can be the Satan can be Elohim too. Yes. Uh, I, yeah. Okay, that's why I said. Well, I've the, made you like God unto Moses. This is what Yahweh said to Musa when he made him an Elohim unto Paro, Pharaoh. Can I please? Exodus 7 1, yeah. Okay. I told you before, words can mean several things. Yeah, that's true. But that's why we have language and context to yes. understand them properly. Absolutely. Yeah. And then when we use Elohim uh, for Satan, we are not saying that Satan is trying to say he is Yahweh. We are just saying that Satan is trying to be God. Yeah. So there's a generic term Elohim and there's a specific term Elohim. Are you, are you somewhere, you lost somewhere? Oh, sorry, I'm a bit so, sorry, yeah. Yeah, maybe, maybe we should not have this conversation. We'll have it later. Is that, yeah. is that what you want yeah, to do? Yeah, let's do that, yeah, we'll shake on that, we'll do it later. All right, then. I'm just, I'm just, I haven't been here for some time and I'm a bit distracted. Oh, you are? No, no disrespect, I see. sorry, I, I don't want to be an asshole. No, it's all right, thank yeah. you very much. Well, I like all right. So, okay. So this young boy, he has been coming to Speaker's Corner for a while. He used to be called Little Bob because he's very enthusiastic about Christianity, Trinitarian Christianity, and for some reason he has uh, become a Unitarian. And as we can see, when I asked him, why did they pick up the stone? What did they accuse him of? He said he was claiming to be God. And then he said, oh, no, 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 that's Elohim. And then he wanted to just run away. What can I say? Jesus is Lord. Oneness and, you know, Unitarians are false. Praise the Lord. Amen.